Compressor for everything, because I'm gonna be loud. Okay. But then I'd like an amplifier. Okay. To just right so right after it gets compressed, so if it could amplify it right after that. Okay. So we're and gonna then like, it, and then, and then, then I'd like a, a hip hop, a sop rock key rap boy, fat rap boy. Okay. You ever run out of deodorant? It's the worst. I was a fiend before I became a teen. I'm melting microphones instead of cones to ice cream. Music orientated, so when hip hop was originated, been a like piece of the puzzle. Film that. Film that. Film these. Yeah. And then film that. Oh. Challenged by a friend not to shave, but this is all that happens. Just hit your, hit your camera. And so I think I'll shave soon because it just looks like dirt. I don't get as many kisses. It's not worth it. It's from who? My wife. Just my wife. You can see it. I think that'll. Me, bro, come on. I'll do the, I'll make the hair a thing. Matching bone. So when hip hop was originated, fitted like pieces of puzzles, complicated. Something about a mic and try to say, yes, y'all, to try to grab it and say that I'm too small. Cool. Because I don't get upset. Something about a finger and a plug Pull and the plug and I'll jet. jet. Back to the lab. <laughs> or is it a... Something. Uh, Where's it a brother's yeah. gun? Uh-huh. Okay. Like, a slow-mo Cadillac behind us. And to like, jump on and off. Yeah. The merch guy. You seen those videos? Oh. I need to wear this mechanical horse shirt. <laughs> It's gonna be really fun. And we're gonna play it before we know it. Between the borders of a film, and I can work 
has to be a joke, right? There's no girls who watch my videos. How do you know that? I don't, care about I don't know. Whenever I send out any sort of merch, it's like, dude's named Charles. Oh, Drew? Who's Drew? I don't know. Who's, who's Drew? Deaf mute. <laughs> <laughs> um, good thing you can't hear us talking right now. <laughs> Say anything that we want about old Drew. Stupid Drew. <laughs> Dan, Dan, mute guy was in charge of all of our video filming. <laughs> I didn't want to eat all my food. When I had it, and I also wanted to make sure it existed after playing. That's when I will really be I feel like it's a good way to do it. It's pretty well thought out. The food is intact, and I believe it will uh, be available to me at a later time. Who else is playing? I And did you stare at the stars like I stare at your night? And how bright do they shine from outside of time? And if there is no need for the suns in your kingdom. Oh, just stay like that. <laughs> yeah? I want to the story behind Kaleidoscope. Okay, there's a poem called Kaleidoscope that I didn't do. <laughs> um, but, uh, so Kaleidoscope, I guess I lied to you earlier then. So Kaleidoscope was probably the first not my life thing that I wrote. The fun story behind it is that I love P.O.D.'s Fundamental Elements of Southtown CD with the like yes. Buddhist monkey with the drawers coming out of his chest and thought that'd be cool to write a story about a girl with drawers coming out of her chest. So uh, that's the first part of it. Um, if you hadn't have said the second part of your question, I would have said Limp Bizkit. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, and from there, I did what everybody does, and you get on an internet message board and talk about it. From there, I discovered, this is true, someone snickered over there, I really did that. Ask Andy how many there are. Three. Banana. Just three. Banana. You're going banana. banana. <laughs> Look at this. Look at what's on this. See this sticker? This is Andy's merch. But he's got like 25,000 YouTube followers. So I'm carrying it. Buddy. Oh, I'm We are growing, but childlikeness is the only way to live. So hand in hand, I will stand for nothing less than dives, you hear? Head first. Also backflips. I mean, if you want to backflip, you can backflip. It doesn't matter all the times It doesn't matter all the way
years. It doesn't matter all the nights. It doesn't matter all the days. God, I hope his voice sounded like thunder. Like that's where it got its name from. Like it reverberated inside of a son's eardrums, I wonder. Levi writes poems, he gives them to me, and he's like, hey, I'm feeling this way about it, write something to it. And I just kind of go with it, and we work together until we get something that we're both happy with, and then we bring it to Andy, and we record it all. He's, he's our engineer, so it's kind of between the three of us, we make it all come together. is different because his passion no matter what your beliefs are no matter what no matter what you think he stirs something in you that's more than just a question it's almost like an aching a little bit and I think he does that really well